in the morning with Larry Flick. Out Q in the morning with Larry Flick. On Sirius Out Q 109. Good morning. Love that song. Breakaway by DJ Bill Bennett and Ayana Day. Now, Bill Bennett is going to be with us in our next hour, along with Suzanne Palmer, to talk about their collaboration, a very brave one, taking on the Irene Cara classic fame. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I love Bill Bennett. He's been in the studio with us, and he's a saucy lad. (laughs) Very saucy. He is a saucy lad. Does he bring his boyfriend with him, I wonder? Uh, well, well, it's on the phone. Oh. It's oh. on the phone, yeah. because he's in that? He's in Detroit. Oh, I yeah. just read that. Yeah, he's in Detroit. But uh, but he's got all kinds of stuff. Uh, honey, I know some stuff, some dirt on this queen. We're going to have fun with her. <laughs> we're gonna have fun. And Suzanne Palmer is a dear, dear, dear old friend of mine. So it's, oh. we're going to have a lot of fun. Plus, we're going to be talking with Jacqueline Smith later on. She's going to call in to talk about Sheer Genius, the Bravo reality show that she hosts. They're going to be having a Charlie's Angels competition. Mm. I like that she's just embracing her history. Well, she better. I mean, I'm so tired of all of these. these yeah, stars we say we say they better, but it. they, you know, but you know how often they don't, right? You know, it's like we know how often they don't. Because so. it's either that or we're going to be excited about your Kmart clothing. So which do you want? Uh, <laughs> wait, her Kmart clothing is beautiful. I want. I know, say. but I can't get it up for Kmart clothing. Yeah, you know what like, I mean. Because it doesn't fit my. In the fat promos, ass. Kate Jackson looks awesome too. Yeah, so it's going to be good. I'm really, really, really excited about that. Uh, but I'm also excited to welcome back to our conversation a friend of us here at our Q in the morning. His name is David Beck, and he is a life coach who specializes in the idea of fearless living. Fearless living. Good morning, David. Good morning, Larry. Good morning, everybody. It's Yay! A, he's one of those perky guys. You're going to get very annoyed very fast. But, <laughs> but I like him very much, even though he's just so perky. <laughs> He's also as you if you go to if you go to MySpace he uh, he's on MySpace uh, MySpace.com Evolution NL or you could just go to my MySpace page and he's in my top friends he's very very handsome and very very perky so <laughs> Thank you're, you. so you're, you're you're as perky as ever David. nice to have <laughs> yes, you with I us am. <laughs> very very nice to have you with us now David's going to be joining us over the course of the next few months to talk about a variety of issues that will help us live better happier and more fearless lives but mm-hmm. it's uh it's the uh, it's of course the number one issue in america right now money yeah money, honey. and i already said we've already been contemplating if you tell us to hold crystals and stuff i'm hanging up on you <laughs> you've been warned you're gonna grab a sage stick and you're gonna take it around your head three times no i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna beat you with the sage stick david <laughs> So now, so, uh, oh, see, he's kinky too. He's kinky too. So now, David, David, yeah, uh, you believe that it's possible for us to change our journey in life? How? To change? Oh well, how? That's a big one. I know, but let's start with the big one. Why not? The big one. Well, and 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 here we are. We're talking about creating financial abundance today. So actually, the first key, if you will, the first gift is actually to be grateful, to be grateful for what we have in our lives, to be grateful for the people around us, um, to be grateful for the life that we're living. It makes sense. It makes sense because a lot of a lot of um, our relationships with things like money is mm-hmm. based on on our, psych- our well and our psychology isn't it it's mm-hmm. based on what we think about it because if we think so uh, there is truth to the to the notion of self-fulfilling prophecy if we believe that we're going to be doomed then we are aren't we yes 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 i mean you know what what, what we think you know boom universe gives you your wish you, you know here you go it's if if we look at the lack in our lives, if we look at what we don't have, we're just going to be bringing more of that into our lives. And so there's where being in a place of gratitude and a place of abundance rather than lack will, will guide you. So now how do you find a feeling of gratitude if your house is being foreclosed? 
Well, you know, and and the way I live, every, there are no coincidences. Everything happens for a reason. You know, house house a house being foreclosed is actually possibly an opportunity. You know, maybe maybe the house was out of your budget, and now maybe that the house is being foreclosed upon, maybe now you get to actually look for the place of your dreams. Maybe that house wasn't meant to be yours in the long run. It's hard, Maybe. For, it's hard for people to wrap their brains around that, though, don't you think? Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, with a house being foreclosed, I've, I've talked with so many people, I've even been scared of this. Yeah. It, it's going through the house and actually uh, being in a place, you know, going through every room and remembering the memories in that room and, and being in that place of gratitude. And just that alone is a miracle, and that can shift so many things. Okay, so talking to David Beck, who's a life coach here at Al Q in the Morning, his uh, his uh, life coach company is called Evolution The Next Level. He's on MySpace. And uh, our toll-free number is 866-305-6887. Again, we're talking uh, in, in kind of esoteric terms, which you might find frustrating because it's hard to kind of uh, – kind of cleanse your your palate clean uh, clear your mind so that you can allow those thoughts to come in so you feel that the first thing you need to do is just be grateful for whatever is in front of you yes be grateful and then then to create financial abundance it's actually looking at what you're passionate about what moves you in life what what do you love to do and and go for it. You know, creating action steps, living in a place of intention. You know, I, I'm open and willing to practice. So many of us look at life as being so serious. And it's got to be this way, and life has to be perfect. You know, all my ducks got to be lined up in a row, and when I have this, I'll finally be happy. When I'm this doing this, I'll finally be happy. Well, that's great and all, but that's all exterior. You know, I'll be happy when. I'll be happy when. Well, what if you're happy now? What's it going to take to make you happy right now in this moment? Because really... That's all we have is the present moment. And, you know, it's, it, again, very esoteric but very true because mm-hmm. David and I uh, were exchanging messages over the weekend, and I was telling him that I was kind of needing to rejuvenate my, my creativity a little bit, and, and he sent me the question, <laughs> what's your passion? And I sent him the answer, I don't know because <laughs> I'm so busy that I don't know. And, mm-hmm. and, and um I was very frustrated by your response. His response was, <laughs> his response was, well, at least you're in motion, and that's a good thing. So that was very frustrating, David. I'm sorry. I wanted yes. you to have me an. I wanted a magical answer. And and you know, all my clients do when they say I don't know. I would, I, and you know, they may call in <laughs> when when they say I don't know. I'm like, well, what if you did know? Because you know, you're doing it right now. It's we have all the answers within us. It just takes a willingness and courage to actually tell the truth and answer them. Because what we really are afraid of is saying what we really feel. Exactly. And what if we're wrong? What if it's not the right answer? Well, in my life and and the way I coach, there is no wrong, right answer. Everything is right right now. Everything is perfect just as it is. Now, we can create more. Just what do you want to create more of? Fear, fear fear-based stuff, ickiness, lack, or do you want to create freedom? Freedom, joy, passion, integrity, living and walking in integrity, creativity, love. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. We're going to continue chatting with David Beck. If you have any questions, because, again, we're talking in in very broad philosophical strokes, and it may be that you need to listen and absorb, uh, which is fair enough. But if you have any questions, our toll-free number is 866-305-6887. Call 866-305-6887. Out Q in the morning with Larry Flick on Sirius Out Q 109.
Good morning. It is uh, just nearly 18 past the hour. You're listening to Out Q in the Morning on Sirius Out Q 109. Keith Price is here. So is Cynthia. I'm Larry Flick. And we're talking with David Beck, life coach who specializes in the concept of fearless living. And he's on MySpace, but he also has a website, evolutionthenextlevel.com. That's evolutionthenextlevel.com. And we are admittedly talking in very broad philosophical strokes about bringing the things that you want to you in your life. And particularly today, we're talking about financial abundance. And, and to, to bring you up to speed, if you're just visiting with us right now, the idea is to find gratitude for what you have. Because in finding that gratitude, even if it's like I have an extra 30 cents in my pocket, you can then put yourself in the right frame of mind to start striving toward having more than 30 cents. And if you're not doing work that you love, well, what do you love? And that a lot of what, what holds us back and what also will be an obstacle in gaining financial abundance is the fact that we're afraid to say what we really want. Have I got that right, David? Absolutely. And, you know, you, you pinpointed that. My, most, most, if not all, my clients come to me and they don't know what they want. And it is, the, it is the most challenging for them. And then it turns into such, it's a beautiful opportunity because then they start practicing for what, asking for what they want. And so often, you know, we say yes to others and no to ourselves. Mm. And we put others' needs before our own. And, and we think we're actually being of service and and we are yet who were we being of service to we're forgetting about the most important which is i mm. and, and and well we're taught really and society uh, reinforces the notion that if we if we deal with our own needs then we're selfish mm-hmm. you know we have cele- we have celebrities saying think about the children in Malawi and uh, what about the yeah. kids here and what and yeah. and and if you think well I care about all of that but I also care about having a nice vehicle to get me to and from work or a nice home to go to at the end of the day mm-hmm. or a job that makes me feel like a, a reasonable human being that we're being selfish mm-hmm, mm-hmm, absolutely and selfish is 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 fear based you know we we think we're going to be selfish we may be looked at as stupid or lazy and that's all fear freedom freedom does not communicate like that does not talk like that and intuition definitely does not speak in those terms so okay let's now these are these are the philosophical answers now let's <laughs> let's and and it's important it's important yeah. to to have an understanding of the full landscape so that you can then start to zero in on mm-hmm. your crop of the landscape, right? Mm-hmm. So what would you say? Now, you, 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 again, we, you and I spoke over the weekend. Your question to me, what's your passion? My answer, mm-hmm. I'm not really sure. You said, be glad you have things in motion. I was annoyed. So, <laughs> but, 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 so now what would you say? And, but at the same time, though, I took that answer as a challenge to then sit down and think about what I really like versus what I have to do. I have and, to. Yes. And so <laughs> I don't have any answers yet. I'm working on it, though, but I don't have any answers just yet. and Because I know that I'm the kind of person, I think most people are, that when I know what it is that I love and want, mm-hmm. I am like a steamroller. You get my way, yes. pray. Yes. And is that? do you think that's true of most people? I do, I do. When when we allow passion and creativity to move through us and we're in the moment of what we love and we're out of the I have to, which I have an easy thing for that. There's no I have to's or I should's in life. Right. You don't have to take out the garbage. You don't have to go to work. There's a choice there. And, you know, when we say I have to, somewhere we're putting blame and we're not taking personal responsibility and so in the i have to's it's actually i get to you get to do these things because you want to do them and the more you start realizing the more you start speaking i get to do this i want to do this you'll actually 
start becoming clear and aware of what you really don't want because it'll just start fading away. It's very interesting. So if you, yeah. so if you, if you add some, some natural, because you know, it's funny, I was a very good friends with a, with a writer, with a journalist who used to argue with me all the time when I, was, I used to work at a, a billboard magazine and I'd say, oh, I have to do this, I have to do that. And he would be like, God, you're, you're such a clod. He's like, <laughs> you get to do all these things that people would love to do. You, instead of saying, I have to talk to Alana Smart, say, How about, I get to talk to her today. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. It really is as simple as changing your mindset. Yes. But what, if, what do you say to the trucker who is thinking, yeah, I have to deliver these, these items in my truck, otherwise I don't get to eat tomorrow? Well, it's going back to looking at what you get from the work you do. You get a paycheck, yes, and what does that, how is that paycheck of service to you? What do you get with that paycheck? Do you get to pay your bills? Yes. Do you get to put food on the table? Yes. Great. Do you get to go to the movies occasionally? Oh, no, I don't do that. Well, what if you did? Hmm. What if you actually took time out of your schedule and, and went to a movie or a play or, or went out dancing? So it comes down to being... It's it's really it's a, it, what, what you're really saying here is that financial abundance can be yours if you change your mindset because if yeah. you look at things in a positive versus a negative light, mm -hmm. you'll see that there are opportunities that you're not even aware of. Absolutely, that's that's really what it's all about. You know, the world has so many opportunities in it, so many, and it's our job to embrace them. That's what they're here for, and one one. Hmm. One exercise that I can give to your listeners and, and to help guide with passion and, and what do you want to do is, what are your skills? What do you do really, really well? Okay. Some may say, well, I love to talk on the phone. Great. You've got great telephone skills. Do you love talking to people? And, and continue from there and add to that list of skills. And no less than 100. Because we all have 100 skills. It's are we utilizing our skills to the fullest? That's very interesting. Mm -hmm. That's really, you know what, that's, that's very powerful stuff. Because what, we're, what you're really saying is, okay, start with the broad strokes. Again, we're talking broad strokes, and then you whittle it down, and you keep chipping and chipping and chipping and chipping until you get to the smallest element. Mm -hmm. And I, I like to say molding. Molding? Molding, because, you know, chipping, we're, we're not chipping away at our skin or our soul. We're not, you know, it's never, ever okay to beat ourselves up. Okay. So, you know, it's, it's molding ourselves. It's, it's, it's molding who we are and who we want to be and who we want to become. And you said it earlier, self-fulfilled self prophecy. It is. If we change our mindset, that's where all of our conditioning comes from. That's where, you know, when we start learning, what is it, at the age of five in school, that's when everything starts, you know, fear starts creeping in. You know, it's going back to that place of innocence and fun, and everything is fun because it doesn't have to be so mm, perfect, and it doesn't have to be so serious. Laughing and fun and joy is really what life is all about, and it's healing. And, I'll, you know, if you can walk down the street and if you're having a miserable day and if you can walk down the street and if you can just look into someone's eyes and then maybe later get yourself to laugh, it's very easily easy to get yourself to laugh. You will feel so much better. It's fascinating. It's fascinating because it's so simple. Yes. But completely out of our reach sometimes because we allow ourselves to get so buried. Absolutely. We're buried in our stuff. We're buried in our muck. And, yeah, if you're willing to crawl out of it, it'll actually, one step at a time, you'll be amazed 
at how that muck goes away, and you'll be amazed at how much financial abundance you will be bringing into your life because you'll be living in your passion. You won't be focusing on lack. You won't be focusing on, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go because you'll actually be doing it. And you'll be coming home excited, and you'll be looking forward to the next day. Yeah. You know, it makes perfect sense. It does. It makes perfect sense because, because if you, if even if you're in a situation that's not feeling good, good to you, you can find your way out of that situation gradually. It doesn't we we want things instantaneously, don't we, David? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it just doesn't work that way. Mm-mm. We've got to be willing to do the work necessary. If we're not willing to do the work, if we're not willing to take those steps, right. no matter what size they are. Right. Piece that's by what piece. It's all about. Piece by piece. David Beck. <laughs> very good job. Very, very good job. David Beck is a life coach specializing in fearless living. And uh, he's on MySpace, so you can say hello to him there. He's uh, If you can't remember um, his MySpace, uh, if you can't. Find him. He's on my top friends list. But he also has a website, evolutionthenextlevel.com. Evolutionthenextlevel.com. And David Beck will be with us again sometime very, very soon to help us continue molding. Not chipping. Molding. Call 866-305-6887. Out Q in the morning with Larry Flick on Sirius Out Q 109.